Hello everyone, welcome again in this uh, fast tutorial. Today we will talk about the LM35, which is a temperature sensor. It looks like small transistor, however it's not. It is a temperature sensor. Okay. Uh, this temperature sensor come into three pin. Okay. Is a VCC ground and the signal. The output of this sensor is pure analog, so we need uh, to use an MCU with analog capability to to interface this uh, sensor. This sensor can support. <clears throat> uh, 3.3 volt or 5 volt and also can cover a very wide range of temperature okay so uh, the pin out of this transistor is like this okay if we hold the transistor in this position where where the writing the code of the transistor is facing us the first pin on the left is a VCC the middle one is the signal which is the analog and also the last one is the ground okay as we know or as we say just now VCC support 3.3 volts up to 5 volts the signal is analog and the ground you just connect to the ground okay this transistor actually is very cheap and available in most of the electronic uh, store so that's why we I have covered it for you today Okay, so for today, I have already hooked up one of the transistors to the Arduino. I have soldered this transistor on this uh, uh, board. And also I have connected, as we can see here, VCC to the 5 volt, ground to the ground, and also the signal, which is in the, the middle pin, to analog zero. We will use this to measure the room temperature and also we will learn how to put a condition to trigger some other uh, thing, for example, alarm or to display something on the monitor if the temperature has changed. So with this, we have changed with the hardware. Let's jump to the software and the computer. Okay guys, so we have reached to the software part of today's tutorial where we will work on the LM35, which is a temperature sensor. So as we can see here, I have started with a new empty sketch. Okay, so let's do it together. So first of all, and before we start the setup uh, function, we need to declare a float uh, variable to hold our final temperature value let's call it temperature in celsius okay and then in the setup what we need we need the serial to be begin with 9600 this one to display the the final temperature on the serial port now we come to the loop okay so to calculate the temperature in celsius for the lm35 first we need to read the analog by using analog read of the pin that we of the channel sorry that we already connect the uh, sensor as we saw before we have connected already to channel a0 so we have to read the channel a0 then we have to divide it by the uh, by the accuracy not accuracy by the range of the analog readings analog reading the maximum range is 1024.0 Okay, this is the maximum range and also overall we have to multiply them by the VCC and since we connect the sensor to 5 volts so we have to multiply them by 5000 and at the end this one we just will calculate the millivolt how many millivolt we got from the sensor then at the end we just divided the overall millivolt by 10 to get the Celsius readings. Now, 
let's print out the data and see what we will get we use the serial dot print line the temperature of Celsius okay and let's add some delay 7000 stability okay let's compile it save no need to save mm. broken oh yeah shouldn't be here the ball okay try again no save should be okay now Yes, then compiling. Now we connect the Arduino board. Okay, let's check to which port Arduino COM12. Okay, good. Let's upload. No, thank you. Uploading and done. Okay, so we open the CL monitor and we see the result. Here we go. This is the room temperature. Okay. So now if we apply some heat, heat, let's say we use the hair dryer, we add, we, we expose the, the, the sensor into uh, hot air. Hmm, here we go, you can see the temperature is goes up now and also go down because I stopped already the hot air. Okay. So our sensor is working and the code also is perfectly work. Now let's add some action to our code. How to add action? As we can see here, the room temperature about 30. So let's add some condition for the action. Let's say we want to display some more meaningful information instead of just numbers. We let's say we display whether it's hot or normal. Okay. So to do so, we have to check the temperature first. We have to check temperature, whether let's say it's more than let's say 35. If more than 35, then let's print, let's copy, lazy to retype again. Let's print. If more than 35 for sure it will be too hot else if not more than 35 let's print out normal temperature okay so this one is just to add some more meaningful and action to our code let's upload cancel Okay, it's uploading, done. Okay, so now if we see when the, the, the drone temperature, let's say less than 35, it will display normal, normal temperature, normal temperature. However, if I apply a hot air to the sensor, here we go, you can see. When apply hot air to the temperature to the sensor, temperature goes high, and at the same time, uh, it will display too hot. So now let's see if it's go less than 35, we should go back to normal. Okay, so with this code, we can add more conditions and add more, uh, um, what I can say, more alarms or more uh leds or buzzers so it can notify us if the temperature goes high or go below a certain threshold and also we can uh, use it to turn on some fan or open some gate for ventilation if the temperature goes too high or too low or too cold i mean okay so now we can see 35.6 is still hot because it's more than 35 Unless we, here we go, we'll go less than 35, 
which is about now 34.1, 34.6, then we go back to normal. Okay, so uh, we have reached to our to the end of our tutorial today. I hope we, you have learned uh, something from this tutorial today. Uh, please don't forget to comment if you have any issue or any uh, question. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you very much. See you soon.